Hi guys, I hope you're doing fine. I'm drinking some Earl Grey tea with uh, cream. Mm. Again, yesterday I separated, I had some, some, uh, uh, how do you say, milk from the cow, you know, I separated the cream from the milk, so because the, the, the milk will put itself in layers, you know, it will be cream at the top, if you just wait a while and have it cold, the, the cream will go on top, it takes like, an hour or something like that. It's very quick, like maybe even faster. An hour, okay. I take the cream, pour it out uh, in, in one place, the milk in another, then I heat it a little bit, you know, um, and then put it into cans so that I can drink it later. We can drink it here. Uh, so, yeah, I had some of that cream. Uh, Okay, so this is a video about the, the arm wrestling champion again. I'm going to go straight on point. I don't want to waste anyone's time here. And then at the end I will continue uh, like talking, right? So let me directly show it to you. There is a lemon. He's eating lemon now. And then I will, I will comment. The situation continues to evolve. I just recently gave a break down round by round. So as you can see, it's the first seconds of the video with this. This, this is at, at the, the beginning, directly at the beginning of the video. He eats a, a, lem, a lemon, okay? And so this video is from uh, three hours ago, so it just it was just uploaded in this video. Um, let's listen to it again. The situation continues to evolve. So the, the situation continues to evolve, and he, he eats uh, a lemon, you see. The, so you ask yourself why, right? Well, he got hung up on the idea of lemonade, so he has to eat lemons now. But what it's really about is lime, you know. But this is pretty close, right? Because how do you make a lime? Well, you crossbreed it with uh, with uh, lemon. So it's it's a bit accurate, right? And it's hard for this, I mean, it's hard for people to, I mean, when you find this artistic inspiration in the ether, you find it in the ether around you, you don't really know how to interpret it. You make your, you, you, you do your best, right? And this is what these guys are doing when they find the inspiration in the air, you know, it's in the air, you know, ether, you know, it's there around us just something you, you just pick up on it right and uh, this is what um, has happened right and it also says king king of, of the table I, I'll add something more um, on another video that he did some some days ago in his place there he has like this this um, king next to him on, on, on the back right there's a king there and it's so interesting to me so fascinating so yeah lots of symbolism eating lemon you know pretty close to the to the real deal uh, and um, so i was supposed to say something something more you know um, what was I supposed to say? Yeah, 
uh, the thing is, I'm going to continue to make videos about him, and I'm not going to mock him. I'm, I, I'm against that. This is something that I encourage, actually. I am very positive, and I'm not feeling a bit of mockery in, inside of me when I see this. I only feel that it's good, right? That's what I feel. And... Um, that's the thing about jokes, you know, and being funny and and, and listening to a comedian, um, someone that is funny, like comedy, you know, it's sometimes dangerous to laugh, you know, I'm telling you, uh, my opinion, my opinion for your unconscious mind, if you laugh on certain things, uh, it could be a curse. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's how I feel about this, right? When sometimes I laugh, right? Sometimes I have to laugh about things because they are funny, and so I accidentally curse myself, right? That's what's happening when I do that. Uh, some, I mean, sometimes some things are funny that are like a bit um, on. Uh, you are someone is unluck, unlucky and you laugh because it looks fun, right? Um, so yeah, sometimes jokes are like that. I mean, pretty often, and that's that's actually dangerous to, to laugh at. You know, I'm just I'm just uh, be happy that I'm telling you. Okay, trust me. I mean, you don't have to trust. You can just ask yourself. Do you think do you think it's dangerous to, to laugh about some things? Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, maybe it's not dangerous as long as you don't try to balance, uh, 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 like you balance yourself as a pendulum upside down. You know, if if you if you, if you do like circus tricks like I'm doing I'm doing circus tricks right like I'm, 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 I'm having the I'm having the pendulum upside down oh all of a sudden it's dangerous to laugh of jokes you know because it could uh, it could make this this fail you know this balancing act and so as long as you don't do that maybe it's okay to laugh at jokes you know yeah so but i laugh at other things so it's okay right i laugh at um i don't like that that's one of the ways of of um of uh, typing like you you type someone that is crazy or or like um how do you say socially what do you say like socially ab abnormal right someone I, I so someone that's socially abnormal it will laugh at things that other people don't laugh at right and that's what i do i i, I still laugh right but it's for other things most often not the things that curses me right um so this is something I can laugh at, right? But I can laugh about it in, in, in a loving way, right? In, in like, oh, this is, this, is, uh, this is fun. Fun, right? In that way. Um, so the world's most, um, the world's uh, strongest man in arm wrestling uh, that is making history 2023. I mean, he's, he, he looks, he's gray, he's gray, he's, all the other guys that he's, he's arm wrestling against are are young. They, they they look young. They have big muscles, right? They are big. He's he's smaller than than them. He's smaller, and also, yeah. Um, so.
Okay. I want to I want to let everyone know I do like criticism, but you need to be um, you need to be like I don't know how, how to how, how how to say it right. You need to be aggressive when you uh, oppose me. Um, okay. And what I mean is, if I if I if I notice someone criticizing me or going against against my grain against what I think is right, and I notice that you slowly you're like. You are a bit like like what I think, but you also slowly go go against me and like you you test you you test the water like imagine having a bath in the water and you just put down your your toe in the water and and try the water of of, of criticizing me um, and you slowly go down that water. Of criticizing me, um, okay, okay, that's fine, also, right? But you need to, um, you need to be. I I don't know how to explain it. This is the thing. Um, people that, that that are like straightforward, you know, you know what I mean, okay? Straightforward people, they are not afraid of. Of, of being straightforward uh, and they are brave I mean I admire bravery okay so someone that criticizes me you need please be, be brave like please please put force in your words against me please be be like don't do it a little bit because that could lead you into becoming a bit uh, passive aggressive, right? I want to I want to avoid. I'm I'm allergic. I'm allergic to passive aggressiveness. I'm totally aller allergic to it. And there is a chance that if you test the water, like you put down the toe, the pinky toe, in in, in criticizing me and and uh, and like, oh, can I do like this? Okay. There is a chance that you're also going to be passive aggressive. Because this way of being is not associated with bravery, okay? And so, um, I will probably detect some passive aggressiveness, and I'm sadly, I'm sadly allergic to that because of my my life. Uh, my life has been. Um, especially grow, growing up, I've been surrounded by this this passive aggressiveness, and so I I'm very good at seeing passive aggressiveness. I'm very yeah that, that, that that's something I'm allergic to, you know. So go with full force, full force against me. Uh, just go straight straight at it, right? Um, otherwise, I'm going to like I'm going to sense this. Um, something is unreal, you know. It's it's not it's not it's not good enough. I don't know how to say. Okay, so that's what I want. Uh, but as you can see, um, it's pretty accurate already my theory, otherwise the world champion wouldn't eat uh, lemon in, in, in the beginning of his video like this. And he talked about lemonade, he talked about these things, right? And before, before, note, I preceded them the day before, the day before. I repeat, the day before they started talking about lemonade, making lime, making making lemonade. When you have 
lemon you make lemonade okay i said the day before when you have lime you make limonade okay that's what i said then the day after they started saying making lemonade from lemon okay this is this is true this this is like you can still put this in your doctor thesis if you want um so um if there's any researcher here you can contact me and I'll, I'll try to make my presentations more scientific for you if you want to have it in that format I have nothing against you know I want to bring bring my message forth so uh, if you plan to to do something like that let me know and it's okay um, I'm a man of science don't forget I respect science in that way but I don't respect um, the way uh, science is uh, bought, bought and paid for and I don't respect when it's um, when there is a yeah you know sometimes science is unscientific you know maybe even pretty often because there are interests you know interests in 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 money right that's it so yeah so i i i did precede them in what i said and and, and um no one is really immune you know because you are all in a in an uh, environment the environment around you inspires you so you are inspired everyone are inspired and um, you uh, you pick things up from this environment from the ether and everything plays together you know in an orchestra in a poem as I as I've been saying and uh, and so does the world champion Devon Larratt 2023 but also you know and I noticed his 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 um, latest picture for his YouTube channel is green like this it's just like the lime lips you know um, like the lime lips oh this is a big image sorry uh, so the lime lips is like like that and he has his his uh, sweater also over over his head right and yeah it's it's a bit similar maybe you maybe you see it um okay so again devon i want to i want to end by letting devon larrett know that if he doesn't like my videos you can email me because this can put a psychological strain on you and i i will not want to be a part of uh, actively doing this right oh, oh. felt some demonic insights there but um so yeah i've come to realize that let's make myself bigger i've come to realize that that um it's important with causality okay causality in the way when it comes to uh, when it comes to moral and ethics when you leave causality you live in in, in the world of um, retro causality and future affecting the past you go the other way around instead of you you pour milk in your glass and you can drink milk you see uh, somehow you can do something else somehow you can drink the milk first and then pour it into the glass okay so if you do like that 
if you do like that you first drink the milk and then you pour it into the glass it's it's metaphorical but it's it's actually what's going on here if you do like that there there is no moral and ethics anymore okay and this is what i know let me know if i'm wrong you know i don't think i'm wrong and um and what i'm left with is a poem right that's what i see i don't see moral and ethics i see a poem in that world uh, and this poem is is not about moral and ethics so it's kind of free from that you are not and that's that, that that's so interesting right in some sense there is no there is no evil and good when it comes to that when it comes to uh, ret retrocausality and drinking the milk and then pouring it into the glass you know you do it the opp way, opposite way around it's hard to explain right uh, but um, so there, re there really is no moral, moral and ethics when it comes to that and that's where your shadow should be doing its work because it, it it's it's not appropriate to have it in the causal causal causality because you you curse yourself with bad karma right you get bad karma so you don't want to have bad karma so you must try to to learn the retrocausality so that you can move the the naughty the no naughty part of yourself to that place and still live in a kind of um cooperate existence with this inner demon you know um that's what i say okay fine let's end end this video devon larat eating lemon i i preceded it <clears throat> i preceded this by talking about making lemonade from li limonade from lime and then they mentioned he mentioned at, at his around his environment they mentioned making lemonade from lemon and that's after i said it so there is a kind of causality also you know but that's that causality is is spontaneous and and free from any uh, i mean it's hard to explain guys see you another time bye bye